Okay, so let's talk about inside out and right side out and everything. Now, this one I picked does not have a right and a wrong side to it. So I'm lucky, okay? This one that I'm doing. Now, this one with the stars on it, I'm gonna show this camera here. They're lighter on this side, so it means it was printed on this side and not printed on this side. I don't know how this one, it looks good on both sides, it's just how it is. But this one definitely has a fade, a lighter side and a, and a more brilliant side to it. So this would be the inside. This is where the stuffing should go. This should be the outside of our pillow. Okay, so with that said, since mine doesn't do it, now normally you've got to really understand this because we turn a pillow inside out when we make it. So we do it wrong. We sew it actually inside out and then we turn it right side out and then we have our pillow. So you would take whatever your good side, the most brightest side, the most brilliant side, and you would put that against um, the, the light color that we have here. This, because these, you know, basically you put the two outsides together, what you want to be the outside. So I'm gonna put those two together, okay? Because when we flip it inside out, it will all make sense, or we flip it right side out. So we sew it inside out, then we flip it right side out. So I've got the two good pieces facing each other and I'm gonna just put a couple pins in there just to just to hold that. Let me just make sure that really is good. Okay. Because remember there's no stitching connecting these together, so I have to I have to pin it. Okay. <clears throat> so now coming in about one centimeter, I'm going to do a nice straight stitch all around all down one edge here. Okay, so and one centimeter is kind of about the width of the shoe. So if you have just a little bit coming out on that right side of the shoe, that's you're, you're pretty good to go there. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. I'm gonna just do this. Remember, I'm gonna do a lock stitch. Lock the stitch, and here we go. And I'm kind of driving it right here. Make sure I'm staying next to that edge. I'm gonna pull out this pin because I've gone far enough. I don't need it. I'm getting near the end now. So I'm going to, oops, come closer, reverse, forward, stop. Okay, so oh, I was getting pretty close to the end. It, <clears throat> try your best not to run off the fabric. The sewing machine shouldn't freak out that much, but uh, definitely stop it. And then, you know, and then just lift up the shoe, move it back to where you need to be, and uh, you should be okay. Okay, so now I've got one edge sewn here. I've got lots of little black threads everywhere. I'll just go ahead and trim that right now while I'm thinking about it. Okay, my beautiful little thing. I'm going to now sew, um, let's see, I'm going to just continue sewing here the other edge. Now, you can see it's, you want to make sure with both the back and the front side that you're going to connect well. Now, I can see here on the brown side, I've got a little bit excess here, so I definitely want to do the brown side up just so I see really where the true edge is here, because I'd hate to come off the edge. So, uh, or just be sewing through one layer and not both layers here. So, let me go ahead and start this here. Do the lock stitch. Kind of let it really get going there. Okay, and I'm just driving it. Again, you can drive it from the front to the back here. Keep your fingers away from it. I'm gonna pull out that pin. Get ready to rewind. Okay, so I've got uh, this edge and this edge. I've got uh, two edges done. I've got no more pins in it because we're, we're good to go here. All right, <clears throat> and now I'm gonna do my third edge. Once we get the third edge, then we need to talk about the last edge here. Okay, so let me go ahead and do the third edge. Uh, yeah, everything's looking good. I do have to come in quite a bit of ways from that brown just to make sure I get all three layers here. Lock stitch at the beginning. Look at how much I'm coming in here, yeah. So I'm way more than a centimeter in, just so I get all three layers. I'm getting near the end, rewind, and stop. Okay, so I've got um, three layers. In the next video, we're gonna put the last stitch in, but we need to leave a hole where we're going to add the stuffing through, okay? So.